Here I have Maxcom MS45600. Let me show you how to bypass Google verification on the following device. So basically, let me show you how to remove the factory reset protection on the following phone. At the very beginning, let's start by using the following screen, verify your account. And here, let me show you how to skip this screen. Let's activate the keyboard. Let's use the add key to open the settings of the keyboard. Let's choose Android keyboard settings. Let's choose text correction, tab personal dictionary, choose English, choose more key, let's choose add key of course. Let's type in the random word, let's go back, use the search key, let's type in S and select here voice input settings. That's it. Here we have to choose text to speech output, tap the settings icon right here. Let's choose install voice data. Tap more key, open source license. Let's highlight the random word. Choose the loop key right here. Now we can use the searcher. So let's here input the file manager. File manager, let's open the file manager. Here we've got the phone storage and now you need to insert here the micro SD card. So you have to use the micro SD. Let's open the protection at the right edge of the device right here and let's insert the micro sd here i have such a card right here with the characteristic edge right here let's put this card in that position and let's press it to the end you can use some tool to do it so let me do it let's press it to the end as you can see the device is reading your sd card let me tap cancel to the default write disk Let's choose the phone storage right here. Sorry, of course, you have to choose the SD card. And here you need to use two applications. The link to download these apps will be under the video. So you can use the link from the description to download these two apps. And right now you need to install the Android 5 GAM right here. Let's install this application. Install blocked, but let's choose settings. And let's enable the unknown sources tab OK. Let's go back. Let's install this app one more time. Tap install right here. Tab accept. Let's wait until the operation will be done. App is installed. Choose done. Now let's use FRP bypass hardware.info app. Tab install. Choose open right here. The following screen should pop up. Let's use this function key, the left key. Let's hold down this key. Choose browser sign in. Tab OK. And now you need to sign in into the Google account. So it could be any Google account, even the new Google account that you just create. All you have to know your it's the email and password to this Google account. So let me do it. Let's enter the email. All right. Let's tap next. Now it's time to enter the password. Let me do it. All right, let's choose sign in right here. This can take a few minutes. Let's just wait. And as you can see now, everything seems to be done. So now let's press the power key and choose reboot. Tab OK to confirm it. Your device is restarting. Alright, the welcome panel pops up. Let's choose your language. Tab next. Skip inserting SIM card. 
The phone is checking connection, let's wait a couple of seconds. The phone is looking for available software update and as you can see account is added. So right now your device adds the Google account that you signed in previously in the application. Now let's tap next. Tap next again or you can here choose one of the following restore options let me choose set up as a new device tap done choose next again you can protect your phone by using the screen lock but let me skip it skip anyway let me agree to google services tap next and tap go to just activate your device but let's go to the settings and if you tap accounts you should see that your device has a google account it is the google account that you had previously in the uh, in the app and if you would like to delete this account let's choose more more key sorry let's uh, enter the following account options let's choose more key choose remove account so removing this account will delete all of its messages contacts and other data tab remove account and to be sh to make sure that your device doesn't have any factory asset protection you can even perform the hard reset operation by using the menu so let's choose backup and reset tap factory data reset choose reset phone and erase everything and just to make sure that you just unlock the frp successfully you can perform this operation this hard reset process so let's just wait until the operation will be done Excellent, the welcome panel pops up. Let's choose your desired language. In my case, it's English. So let me scroll to English right here. Tap next. Let me simply quickly go through this process. Tap skip. Let me skip selecting Wi Fi. Skip anyway. Tap next to date and time and to name. Let me don't protect my device with any kind of the screen lock. Let me leave default Google services. And as you can see, the welcome panel pops up. It means that you just activate your device without the Google account. So everything went well. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe our channel and leave a thumbs up under the video.